From Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, along with a guy who only buys shoes in half sizes. He's Joe Stapleton. We're back at Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York. Hello, my babies. Coming up tonight, if you like playing poker with just one eye open, have we got the show for you. It's a couple of rounds of Blind Man's Bluff. Things get a little weird. We continue day two. A couple of players who were with us on day one are now sitting back down. Rep Porter in C2 and Mike Dentali in C5. The big loser so far is the guy with two first names, Richard Anthony. You suspect, Dick. You suspect. I don't know. I just Third? saw the five deuce a minute ago. Put the tender down, Sean. You're a dad. It made me sad when you showed me the five Lines deuce. are 25 and 50. Huh? I said it made me sad when you showed me the five dudes. You thought you were going to win with the three when I checked back? Most of the players taking advantage of the optional $100 straddle under the gun. Thank you, Jill. He doesn't say it, but I will. Thank you, Jill. I always say thank you. I didn't hear you it. You didn't that time. She didn't serve it yet. She's not the server. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, just, dude, we could gamble. Maybe she just came by to learn about your website. d out of the small blind makes it 825. Yeah. Followupbet.com? 825. <laughs> I don't know that website. I thought we were Come talking on, about son. the shoe fetish site. <laughs> Your head. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> Such a weak slow roll. I know. Come on, bro. It's 800 to call D. This is your opportunity to fold. I know. Like, you wouldn't fold five deuce here, bro. Just telling you. I have worse than five deuce. And you have to, he'd have to flip first, too. He I have, have to deuce seven. He has oh, to no. the first. Sean D. was setting up a different kind of slow roll now. It's the lie You went all in. You called the last one. Let's go do seven. Yeah. Show one. I have do seven. I love that. Do seven of clubs. You better go one. I got jack, ten of hearts. No, you don't. What you think I got? You do not have jack, ten of hearts. Well, oh. Travel's flopped pretty good. Four clubs. Wow, that was just about to be a ripped card. Well, team four clubs now. only can hit an ace oh on the right. I have the win? nut low. I cannot win. You win, bro. It's too far. I got queens. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you win. <laughs> bro, I know you win the hand, bro. <laughs> I know you, you, you win, bro. <laughs> River the f***ing ace. Okay, we'll take one of the ones in our three. Plus the river's an ace. He always gets the perfect. Plus the river's an ace. Holy. I knew he was doing it, so whatever. I, I Wait, was doing it pre-flop. How do you know I was doing it? I knew you hit you the ace, You think ace-line offsuit was my solo. I knew range. you hit the ace. <laughs> Go, Tommy. We were well aware. You won that without a showdown? Was there 5,000 yeah. in that pot, Sean? That's he only had 1,600, I know. Sad. Tom Canuli with Queen Nine suited. Have to win Another the pot, November right. Niner. <laughs> along with this guy, Joe McKeon. Uh, you may have heard of him. He's become famous. Yeah. We got five vials. You got five. Was it four of Camus? Oh, okay. She had five vials of Camus only. Oh, really? She found five downstairs. Awesome. And so I told her just to leave them off. Because you would drink it. Yeah. Wow, we've got some top like shelf wine that with is us. coming to the table. Come on, guys. We all know you're not awesome. drinking bottles of wine. You're drinking boxes. Right, where are you going back to? Wine tastes better at right where angles. Going back to? Like, where do I live? Yeah. Seattle. Seattle. Torelli, Canuli, and Deeb. Sounds like a bad law firm going to the flop. Oh, man. Get the popcorn. This is going to be a Blues Brothers style car crash, and Sean Deeb is going to be the Illinois State Police. I, I, I knew you had it on the flop. Yeah. That's what that is. Torelli is kicking off the pileup with an $800 bet. Sean Deeb doesn't have the worst hand, but he has 0% chance of ending up the winner. And I think he could certainly raise here, despite the fact that he's drawing dead. It's a draw heavy board. Folks are very likely to have some kind of piece, especially with a bet and a call already in front of him. So the number is 3,300 from Deeb, back to Torelli. If you listen carefully, you can actually hear the tap dancing coming out of Alec Torelli's brain. <laughs> I'm glad you came to the same conclusion I did, that uh, he, he is just tanking here, so he doesn't seem too excited. Take your time, play it cool, don't get the chips in too fast. Well, the question is, does Torelli want to keep both Canuli and Deeb interested here? He's going to flat here. If he tanks this long and then no raises, it looks super strong. But yeah, he wants Canuli to call behind. No you survive the turn, and then you eliminate one of them. I mean, if it's a good turn, you don't want to eliminate anyone. 
All right, Alec, I think you've uh, I think you've sold it. Uh, now you're just wasting I'll still time. give you 100 Detroit. Nah, he finally has made his decision, and that decision is to call. Smart decision. It's worth more than 100. And with the odds he's getting and a draw on one end to the nuts, I don't think Canuli can fold. 2,500 to win 8,500. Locked liquidity desk when they went into uh, the institutional sales. Oh no, kidding! Yeah. What years are we talking about? I was there. Oh baby! Started in January '99. I worked real four. Okay. So this pot was barely over a thousand dollars pre-flop, and now we're at eleven thousand. Regional traders on that desk. Speed going to rewatch. And that's it. Canuli yep. and Deep are drawing dead. And unfortunately for okay. Deeb, he's gonna think mm -hmm. that he just turned the absolute world's fair. He's frying fish at this moment. He's opening a chain of franchises. <laughs> oh, okay. So like right as I was. Look at that. Everybody plays it slow on the turn. And Canuli, of course, he just has queen high, but the two boats out there oh, playing it what, slow. Uh, what's this dead blue drink? Uh, incredible poker. poker. What is in that? Kind of like I think like Torelli's got a bet here. Oh. Doesn't want to risk, he can get two checks behind. It kept going well. 85? 8,500. 8,500. And how long have you been a pro? Uh, well, I played when I was in college. For Stupid hands. Okay. And then I went and worked for SIG for six years. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I played since, oh, well, up there in 04. I will be so impressed if Deeb's able to fold this. I mean, he is losing the jacks. He's losing the jack 10. It's like a tell me pan all over again. Losing the 10 seven, sevens. Uh, Probably like 20% tournaments, 80% uh, cash. His hand's just so strong. The uh, tournament's, you know, really high uh, variance. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think Pocket you can threes. realistically oh, okay. fold Pocket that. Jacks. And once again, we said it earlier, Alec Torelli is nothing but strong when he plays on Poker Night in America. I see nothing changing my opinion of that play. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Thanks for coming back to Turning Stone Resort, our stop tonight on Poker Night in America. <laughs> used to be a little more, but then the games are got a little smaller. And I knew he was building the turn. Sure. Sure. No surprise, Alex Relly stacking chips. That seems to be all he does on this show. Um, Dentali up to 250 limit. with oh, Queens out that you had the nut and Jax, and, and we can't. <laughs> you fold it up there, Tom? Yeah. Oh, why not? Throw Ace King into the mix. All poker's greatest hits. Um, now we just had like so six, seven suited yeah. who'd want to get priced in. Well, it's going to be tough for six, seven suited to get involved now since Sean Deeb's just made it 1,100. I think the big bet games, you know, like... We just aren't enough of them anymore that are high enough stakes. Right, right. Same thing about it, I wasn't really even going to play this hand. That's the funny thing about it. Yeah, right. Because I knew once you lose a hand, you guys, like, this kid's raising me 100%. <laughs> How can we always do that, right? When we lose a big pot, we raise the next hand? Because you wake up with queens? Joe, so you drinking one? Red. You want to right now? Yes. <laughs> this for everybody. This for everybody, right? Uh, Bart's having it, yeah. I want, I want one. Yeah. Is it enough? Yeah. We got a lot of bottles. Well, thank you. So Dentali just calls, which I like. Mike, you getting one? Deep yeah. could easily be re-raising with garbage, and you don't want to chase him out. In this case, he isn't. Stick it in me, Dilla. Lovely. Is Dentali for real? You know why I think he's called Dentali? Because there's something wrong Come with on. his mouth. Come on. I don't even know. Two, two, and I don't hate the uh, all-in protection Without shove two, here. He could certainly get called by Jax. He might get called by Ace-10. He could get called by a draw. McKeon does call him with a worse hand. King of he gets out of the way. I have queens. Show the hands. Sean, who else needs wine? Where's uh, And it's a queen on the river. Nice speech, buddy. McKeon needed to hit a jack. Did not. <laughs> that was a crazy speech you put on there with that hand. <laughs> I knew I, what'd you say, I knew that- I wasn't even gonna I play his gonna, hand. I, I wasn't gonna play his hand. <laughs> King. I think we should choose the card to show, though. Two kings, yeah. No. Yeah, I think no. it's more fun that way. Yeah. But we'll do it's an orbit more fun if you do it no, after the flop. No, not each, bro, no, bro. I'm stuck, I need to get back even. Okay, so everyone's well, playing with one so card what up. What did you fold? I'm sorry. Five of spades. Of course, Deeb's got a pair. Sorry. He's, He's mocking him anyways, I was trying to help him out. I'm gonna ask if people what they're up for. All I see is ace-king. 
400. Richard yeah, Anthony yeah, makes it 400. It's so full of bluffness, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an ace showing. That's not a bluff. I think I have a super edge on this game. <laughs> so the, the sick thing is it's the... My it's mind probably, is just so creative. You think that every time, and you're always wrong. So. My mind is just working so You're making me want to play this game more, man. I'm calling 400 with a six. Strong. Nothing's as strong as Sean with a You know what's cool, shot. though? If, <laughs> if he would have raised to his left, I would have like, been tilted. Put the king in the uh, sunset there. So like. I want to say I'm when sure. Sean limp calls with a four showing, his hands kind of face three up, but it, it, it is kind of face up. Well, he's now got like a set of fours. Anymore. Got a pair. Or a pair of fours <laughs> showing. <laughs> <laughs> Torelli's flopped an up and down draw. Nobody else has got much of anything. Check. What is step four in Alcoholics Anonymous? Oh, is that bargaining, reasoning? <laughs> what are the things? Alex, you play a lot of poker? I just did the right articles. What do you do? <laughs> I do a lot step, of a lot of things. Fourthsteppoker.com. Go there. God, I'm just losing money constantly. Wonder why. Listen, before I have you double me up again, relax there. You get really weird. These gave me get really weird. They both didn't catch I think Sean's going to raise here a lot. Joe McKeon, my buddy. Let's have this on film that Joe McKeon is my buddy. I do like him. Not. 29. I'll let him speak for himself. I mean, he can just play such mind games with a four showing. This game is so silly. It's not <laughs> silly. It used, you need some brain power here, bro. Do you have any extra you can donate, Mike? Right now, this is like. Stop. <laughs> Some real heavy thinking here, man. Do you even think, bro? I feel like Alex is ca Alex is capped right now compared to Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I already know Sean's I already know Sean's hand by one thing, and I'll wait till the hand ends before I say it. Can I bet that you get it wrong, please? Uh, all right, how much you want to bet? Can we bet a hundred bucks? Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. All right. 25. I thought you didn't bet. Now I do. Right, I'll bet a quarter with you, Mikey. The good news is it's a wine pot now. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. This is the wine pot? It's a $325 <clears throat> rake all of a sudden. Board pairs to give Deeb a full house. This is going to be a huge pot. Huge. Just by that card. Huge. Huge. I actually am not sure how much bigger this pot gets. Torelli's going to know he could be drawing dead now. Which he is. 4000 he is drawing deader than Robert Kirkman. That's the guy that draws the con Okay, you got that Got one. it, okay. yeah. Tom Canuli in between Torelli and Tantali looks like he might be turning as we speak. Brains. No Queen Jack, I guess. Hold up, we got a, we got a bet on... <laughs> no Queen Jack for Alec. We, are we betting on Sean's other card, right, Mikey? Uh, what do you yeah, think it is? Got a show. Show. We got I don't have to show. $25, come on. Was it 325 rep for the wine? Yeah. $25, what this card is, is he This have? is no good, Sean too, Sean too had, smart this for is, this game. This is for the camera, Sean had Jack Bowles. <laughs> Here you go, you can play them if you want. Do. You're gonna have to just back go at Turning Stone boom, Resort boom, on boom, Poker Night in America. Boom, He's Joe Stapleton. I'm Chris Hansen. There's wine at the table. We still won't have any up here. Just wait for the next bad beat. There's gonna be lots of wine at the table. <laughs> I can't be hidden anymore. <laughs> They're playing one card up here recently, and that's where we're at. I have the biggest card. I thought I was gonna limping his hands. Then you thought about it. I have the biggest card right now. They can fold to me. I can just go all in and literally never get. Was that Mark? I'm missing. I'm. It ain't the deuce. I'm missing hands. This is the only card that's relevant. Right here. Oh, you have the king. That's relevant. Yeah. For sure, the hand of you should come from the one up. No limit hold them. How much is it? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Got like 20 grand. Seriously, how much is it? Oh, this is going to be great <laughs> TV. <laughs> please record this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Record it, please. Uh, slightly over 20, Tommy. No, 20,225. Sorry. I call. He has oh. kings, bro. You sick bastard. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Oh, he died. And... It's on you. It's on you. Oh, my God. He's only he calls out sixes. It's two calls. nights. No, sixes. Yeah, of course he's I have the ace of diamonds with it. What do you want to do? Run it twice. You, you for real? Show, show me your nine, and I'll believe. Of course it. he has nines. Yeah, I mean, I can't. Run it twice, or? 
Yeah, two times. Okay, twice. I'd, I'd think I'd call it with two nines there. Yeah. Wow, you really did that. All right, I'm not going to. You surprised you made that a good, you, made a, you made a good call. <laughs> Maybe this yeah. is wrong because I literally only get called by pairs. Yeah. So we're going to run it twice. We can both make straights, that's fine. Uh, I'm not, I'm not my push it up Nine's holding yeah, so it. far. McKeon picks up Jax's outs. Hey, you guys pay for the other ball of wine as well. I'm out. The out six works. Oh, he called it. Nah, it's, yeah, it's, it's only one six left. There's only one six left. That's wow. one for you. That's a good river for me, though. So Tom yeah, Cannuli wins the first run out. If he wins the second, he scoops no the whole pot. Should win, yeah. should win this. There was no aces or kings out free. No diamonds, yeah. Should win this. As an ace on that flop, very club? likely Joe He's McKeon is going to win the yeah, second run out, and they're going to chop this pot. Ah. Uh, three nines left. There's one left. One nine left. Nine! Ah. Uh, no nine, so they're going to chop this up. <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this hand? I don't know. After I like play it like this, like, I limp in. I'm like, what wow. am I supposed to do? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I just got in the 40k pot. Both Canuli and McKeon, members of the November nine. As we said earlier, that's the. I'm gonna make a million in a couple months. I call anyway. <laughs> At least a million. Yeah, like I have the worst card on the table. This is not relevant. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't count if you play a hand when you have the best card. That's just that's just taking your advantage. Luckily, there's only like three more of these hands, guys. I'm just <laughs> money away. This is insanity. <laughs> What's your card, Mike? Five. Thanks. This one and three more. Yeah, look, I think you would like stud a lot if you like this game. Really? Yeah. Isn't stud limit? Limit's just so boring. Nothing but limp for so Limit far. is not boring. Who's going to raise? No I just don't have, like, the, the creativity kind of, like, lacks in it a little bit, right? Yeah. Oh, I know. It's just kind of, like, too mathematical and not as creative for me. Right. <laughs> this game is so stupid. This is incredible. What's the bet? A thousand. Yeah, the whole orange one? The full he said, he said raise and throw out a thousand shit, Mikey. That's stupid. how poker works. I mean, come on, this game is incredibly gangster. That means that's the bet. Something you might learn if you know if you ever get above one and a half. You know, not for nothing, you might get a 10 from these lights. Oh, really? They still look white to me. Maybe in November. You know, it's I'll not be fun there. when people play good pre flop then I, then I can't see the flop. <laughs> yeah, we all just want to see the flop. Yeah, it's like it, the there has to be a cap pre flop, otherwise this no, game is like. No, we stand up with a cap. We said it should have been a cap. You want to see a flop? I put my and I put 5,000 in with this hand. Oh, you would not put 5,000 in with that hand, bro. That's the winner. Tommy, boy. berate him, please. They oh, both folded perfect. the king. That's the winner, boys. They both folded the king. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's else is yeah. true. When you see the king, yeah. That's, that's, even, that's king. another that's sick part better. about this game. That's better for his hand, right? How the, that's not better Think for about hand. it. Look at his other card. I mean... <laughs> yeah, kid. Yeah, good old. The nuts. I told you, kid, you have the nuts. No one has a king here. No one has a set. It's good. All in. Oh, right now, definitely. All in. It's all yours. Yeah, all in. It's all yours. Truly a sick game, actually. Check. Yeah, this whole one card up thing adds a whole new paint job to things. I'd rather play blind man's bluff and just show both cards. Not know my hand. <laughs> so awesome. I really like this game. All in. <laughs> he's King Jack is the only thing Sean's really worried about. He knows he's very likely to be able to bluff Bart off his hand. This is so brilliant. The great throw if you have Jacks here. I know. Well, I would have played Jacks the exact same way too. Uh, it's too bad there was a dead Jack. Especially when you checked on the turn. On the flop. Why on the flop. Right, we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, find out what Bart Hansen's final decision is. When we return. Do we seriously just have a cliffhanger? And one involving Chris's brother, Bart Hansen? It's not my brother. More Poker Night in America when we come back. <laughs> Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Welcome back to Poker Night in America from upstate New York. Let's get back to the action. They're playing one card up, and Sean Deeb is better enough to put Bart Hansen all in. It'd be a great slow roll, though. I give him credit. Like, this is probably the best game to slow roll. Oh, yeah. When, when, when the other guy's tapped, <laughs> yeah. you know that you can slow roll. <laughs> you said Jack High? I really think this could go either way. More levels here than Inception. I mostly think it's going to be folds, but maybe Bart snaps him off. I do not have a king. All right, I call. Ah! You have ace check? Yeah. Try to bluff you off that. You have ace nine, right? Yeah. I maybe Sean Deeb saying a tad too much. I think Bart was maybe gonna call anyway. Yeah, I talk too much. 
But that sealed the deal. This is a great game. <laughs> and even though Sean Deeb <laughs> lost that hand, yeah. I think he still likes the game. So you're saying Sean Deeb likes changing the rules to give himself an advantage. You might have 9-8, though. I wish I could take credit for, like, planning out these games I come up with, but it's just the discussion leads to it. There's some people in Vegas always make jokes. They're never going to play a game I invent for the first three months. Like, they're just so afraid that I'm a sharp mind. That, like, I think I'm good at that stuff, but I'm not the best. There's been versions of a lot of these games that have been formed, but something I've done in Chinese poker is we keep inventing and adding to new games. We keep mashing up games together because, you know, some people like this version of game, some people like that. So we bring the best components of both, we make a better game that everyone likes. Rich, we suck. We fold we it right. tonight. All right, let's stop for the night and take a look at who's the winners and losers. Uh, boy, the people who are losing money are really doing well at it, including Sean D. Yeah, only three losers in this game, and one, two, three, four, five, six winners. They're probably pretty happy. Yeah, but Stave said it looks like the only thing that Sean D is doing wrong right now is everything, because he's down almost 18K. I think he's going to have no problem climbing his way out of that hole. I guarantee you, by the time this session is over, there's going to be a lot more red arrows. And if his isn't green, it's going to be a much smaller number than that. Next time, we close things out from Turning Stone. With Joe McKean and Sean Deeb, make sure we take it down the home stretch in style, provided you consider giveaway t shirts to be style. Hmm. For more from Poker Night in America, go to pokernight.com to see unedited live streams and complete episodes. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time on Poker Night in America. Sean here. This is this is this is for the camera. Sean had Jack balls. Okay. Jack balls. Does that mean he had the jack? He had four. four. He had four or nothing. That was all a bluff. I thought you, you said you know exactly what he had. You gotta give me a card. Go ahead, his his card is irrelevant. He had he, he had. I feel he did not have. He had like four or five. What do you say? I was gonna agree with you. Oh, so now you got it. Only four jack. That's the only hand. He didn't have four jack. He had four.